So today was that Xbox showcase event, and I'm not gonna lie, um, I've played Xbox my entire life. It's I've never owned a PlayStation. I've always been on Team Xbox. I never, I was never a fanboy, but I always, I always respected Xbox, and I'll even admit the showcase was not very good. Like not even in comparison to like the Sony event or anything like that. Just in general, it was quite, I guess, underwhelming just because of what was shown was not really that impressive i guess in the fact of that we didn't really see too much on the actual gameplay side we mostly just saw cinematic trailers and we also we didn't get some important things like a price or a release date or you know the series s reveal anything like that and you can argue what you want but in general the hype that was built up by microsoft and the community for this event was it really it really kind of set an expectation that Microsoft was not able to fulfill the sun. But one thing I keep seeing on Twitter, on YouTube, all over, and I really, I guess, find hard to believe is this idea that Microsoft, or not Microsoft, I guess, Microsoft's going to be fine, but Xbox is dead because of this event. They're, they're done for. Like, there's no point. They might as well just cancel their console and just... <laughs> And just stop and st just stop making consoles from this point on okay that's that may be putting a little bit of sarcasm on that but essentially the idea is that a lot of people are saying that microsoft is likely not going to do well this generation because of this event and what they've shown and there is some truth to the idea that you have to have a strong launch if you want to have a strong console and so far microsoft's launch from what we've seen does not seem as strong as what sony's offering but then again we've not seen that much we don't know what the price is because that's going to be a big factor we don't know what other games are going to be shown because right now all we've really seen are games that are somewhat in development but i think what most people are concerned about when they say this is the idea that microsoft bought all these studios in 2018 and this is all we're getting this is all we're seeing and if this is what is to be expected because you know a launch is when you got to have usually the best games possible on your console if this is what we're seeing for the launch then then like what's what's the point like microsoft is just going to be like how they were last generation and here's the thing with that the problem with that is that microsoft acquired all of these studios in 2018 right so that gave them let's say all those studios were developing games even during that time let's give them a bit of that break Still, even considering that fact, or that as presumed fact, that doesn't mean that they'll have enough time to get a game polished and ready, even for a gameplay trailer, by a 2020 game showcase. And so what I'm saying by that is that there's probably going to be a lot of games coming down the pipeline. And so while the exclusives shown right now are not incredibly impressive, uh, that's actually, <laughs> that's, that's an overstatement, we're likely going to see some very impressive stuff that rivals sony in the years to come maybe 2021 at the minimum most likely 2022 2023 is when we'll start to see things really start to ramp up because remember xbox acquired all these studios in 2018 that was only two years ago so essentially what this video i want you to take away from is no xbox is not dead the event was not very good but they're gonna be fine and they can probably still have a successful launch it's just that as of right now, I think a lot of people are looking at what Sony showed and they're like, wow, there's not really much of a reason to get an Xbox. But I feel like that could turn around in the supposed, what, August event, I believe is where they're going to hold it, where they're going to reveal more hardware information like price and release date. And I feel like that's going to be what's really going to determine this generation because, because we're probably going to see a lot of these next gen games that are really going to matter be available on both consoles. So Microsoft, I feel like is going to be okay in the long run if they just they play their cards right because this was not a very good card i'm not gonna lie <laughs> but anyway i uh i better go to taking another two-month hiatus so see you guys in my next live stream